Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to St. Francis is the American National Catholic Church. Today we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Advent. And to begin our celebration, we invite you to stand. And we're all going to join together and sing. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. <laughs> Prepare ye the way of the Just get a designated, and then all hold hands. 
friends or something. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. to this, guys. All right. Most high and glorious God, we give you thanks for Christ, your Son, who came to us uh, in the flesh. We give thanks to these ministers who uh, who uh, who uh, yearly stand in, uh, in your pulpit and proclaim the word of God to us. May they continue to be blessed, and may we be blessed uh, through their service to the church. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 us, yet you have visited your people and redeemed us in your Son. As we prepare to celebrate his birth, make our, heart, uh, make our hearts leap for joy at the sound of your word, and move us by your Spirit to bless your wonderful works. We ask this through him whose coming is certain, whose day draws near, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. From Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which God promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The gospel concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh, and was declared to be the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of Holiness by resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Christ we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles for the sake of his name, including yourselves, who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. To all God's beloved in Rome, who are called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
to David that his, that his throne would last forever. So this would be known, what we would now know as the Davidic covenant. However, the once united monarchy um, would soon be divided into two kingdoms. The northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah. Our first reading today mentioned King Ahaz. Ahaz. He was a king in the southern kingdom of Judah. Our first reading contains one of the most famous quotes that Matthew would later use in his gospel. A virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. Actually, um, the, vir uh, the term virgin here, um, you would find two different uh, translations of scriptures. One would be based on the original Hebrew, which we call the Masoretic text. And the Masoretic text would use the term Alma, meaning young woman. But the Greek version of the translation, which was translated about 2nd century BCE, uh, which we would now call the Septuagint, uh, would, be, would translate uh, this to Parthenos, which means virgin. History would soon tell us that the northern kingdom of Israel would soon fall under the hands of the Assyrians around 721 BCE. And a few centuries later, around 587 BCE, the southern kingdom of Judah would fall under the Neo-Babylonians. God's chosen people would soon suffer exile and always be under foreign rule, even, after, even up to the time of Jesus. With all these tragic events that happened to God's chosen people, <clears throat> how are they to make sense of God's covenant with David? How will David's throne last forever, given that the people of Israel are now under foreign domination? Matthew, in his gospel, traces the gene genealogy of Jesus from the line of David. In today's gospel, Matthew quotes from the prophet Isaiah. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. Behold, a vir the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. So this means that Matthew is establishing a fact that the line of David did not perish. Jesus was the fulfillment. <coughs> Jesus was the fulfillment of God's covenant with David. Throughout history, we see how the chosen people of God have fallen short. They have been unfaithful to God, which have eventually led to their exile in a foreign land. However, God's promise to David was not broken. God remains faithful to his promises, and he gives to us his only son, Jesus, the Christ. So even though how un sometimes how unfaithful we become to God, always remember that God's promise to us, that God's faithfulness is, is, uh, is something that we can always count on. In a few days from now, we will celebrate the Feast of the Incarnation, the fulfillment of God's promise to deliver us from our sins. God humbled Himself and became man to walk with us, to be one with us, to share in our joys and sorrows, to teach us how to live the fullness of life, to free us from our sins. God's promise continues to be fulfilled each time we celebrate the Eucharist. His promise to stay with us until the end of the age is fulfilled every time we receive Him in the form of bread and wine. Now He promises to return once again at the end of time, at which we do not know the day or the hour, 
only the Father knows. So let us be prepared to celebrate Jesus' birth. Let us clean up the clutter in our hearts as we receive Him in the Eucharist. <clears throat> Jesus takes every opportunity and knocks at the door of our hearts. Do we make room for Him? Let us answer, Come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, come Lord, Lord Jesus, come. <clears throat> Let us stand and profess our faith as we say, We believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally God and the Father, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, the God not made, one of being with the Father. Through God all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and was crucified. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in the fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no well end. We believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We know for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As a people preparing for God's birth in our hearts and, and in this time, let us offer our prayers of petition. Our Advent response to the prayers is Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, come. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, come. O come, Emmanuel, God who is with us, and be with the lonely, the exiles, the depressed, the street children, those in prison, and all who have lost hope. We pray. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, come. O come, our wisdom from on high. Order the ways of nations. Show the leaders of countries the path of knowledge to bring peace and justice to peoples everywhere. We pray. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, come. O come, our Lord of life. The tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times gave holy law. Keep the people of Israel faithful to the covenant you made with them. We pray. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, come. O come, O key of David, come, for when you are open, none shall shut. Enlighten church leaders to proclaim your wondrous grace and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high and close the path to misery, we pray. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, come. O come, our day spring from on high, and cheer us by our drawing nigh. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadows put to flight. Be with those who are with child, and comfort the sick and dying. Are there any whom we should especially remember? For uh, Don, who's undergoing um, uh, gallbladder surgery this morning, for Pat and his back. Who is the Antony?
bring those who have fallen asleep in death victory through the grave. Are there any whom we should especially remember? Kathleen. Jerry Freshetta. Monsignor mm -hmm. John Petrillo of Our Lady of Words in West Arm. Probably there are seven of that mercy. We pray. Lord Jesus, come. If you would join me in giving thanks to God uh, for the ordination of Father Harry Walters uh, yesterday, which we celebrated in Lewisburg, that God might bless him uh, and through his ministry uh, uh, bring to the to the world uh, uh, an example of God's love, and so for Him, let us pray to the Lord. You may have noticed coming in the uh, church this morning that there is a stable outside, and so I want to give thanks to God for the members of this parish who have constructed that, especially Benny, and I think you probably had help from his sons John and Edward, right, as well, and for Johnny Rios and Edwin Rios and for Jerry and Celia, that that manger <clears throat> may represent for us a visible sign of God's love in the midst of this community. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, come. I'd like to thank our deacon, Brother Gigi, for his homily. You may have been able to tell that he's <clears throat> completed his third uh, course in uh, Old Testament. Um, <laughs> 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 history. And so, so I think we got a wonderful contextualization of uh, of, uh, of the gospel message this morning, but uh, but we give thanks to God for Brother GT, who uh, who so employs his learning to bring us closer to God, and so that we may have many more vocations uh, in the American National Catholic Church. Let us pray. If you would pray for me for our seminarians, uh, uh, two who will be uh, soon admitted uh, uh, to candidacy, and uh, for others who are making their journey. Uh, towards uh, towards God's altar through the priesthood, that God might bless them uh, with graces uh, and the grace of perseverance. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Most high, glorious God, we bring you our prayers and petitions, those which we've spoken aloud and those in the depths of our heart. We ask you to hear and answer them if they be for our good, for we make them in the name of Christ, your Son. Amen. 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 Put your flower uh, orders or uh, 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 envelopes in the collection. That would be very helpful to us. As our gifts are gathered and prepared, let us all join with one another and sing number 303, Patience People. That's number 303.
sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. Lord, may the power of the Spirit which came upon Mary and made her womb fruitful sanctify the gifts we have placed on this altar. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. He is the one foretold by all of the prophets, from the Virgin Mother awaited with love beyond all telling the one whose coming John the Baptist heralded and whose presence he proclaimed. This same Lord invites us to prepare with joy for the mystery of his birth so that when he comes, he may find us watchful in prayer, our hearts filled with wonder and praise. And so with the angels and the archangels, with all the heavenly hosts, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending chorus. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in my end. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. that is near at hand, we humbly pray. By the power of your Spirit, sanctify these gifts we have brought before you, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was handed over to death, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to all of those whom he loved, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again he gave you thanks and praise, and handing the cup to all of those whom he loved, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. My says I, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. resurrection and ascension into heaven, and eagerly awaiting the day of his return, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering, and see the victim by whose sacrifice you are pleased to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit, and become one body, one spirit in Christ. Let it make us an everlasting gift to you that we may share in the inheritance of your saints with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles and the Martyrs, St. Francis and St. Clair, St. Thomas, and all your saints, on whose constant intercession we rely for help. Lord, may this sacrifice, which has made our peace with you, 
advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, your servants, the patriarchs of Alexandria, Antioch, Constantinople, Jerusalem, and Rome. I, your unworthy servant, all bishops, priests, and deacons, all ministers of your church, especially our newly ordained Father Kerry Walters, and the entire people your son has gained for you. Merciful Father, hear the prayers of the family you have gathered here before you, and unite to yourself all your children, now scattered over the face of the earth. <coughs> Welcome into your kingdom our departed brothers and sisters, and all who have left this world in your friendship. <coughs> we hope to enjoy with them your everlasting glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you give out, you, whom, through whom you give the world everything that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Happy are we who are called to his supper. 
Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. every one of you are welcome into the full experience of, uh, of the uh, participation in the sacrament. So you're all welcome. Oh, my God. 
I'm not sure if there are any other. Um, we will have choir practices after the mass today. So if any of you wants to join us uh, for our Eucharist, for to sing with uh, to sing for our uh, Christmas liturgies, please stay after mass. We also have the flag sale in the back. Did really well last week, and the funds go to defray um, plus the Christmas. So if anyone's like a poinsettia or a Christmas tree or an arrangement, they'll be in the back. And I'd, I'd like to thank everyone for taking the ornaments off the giving tree. I think that Bloomfield Social Services are going to be in awe of the amount of things that our small but very uh, giving parish does to help people in need. So I thank you on their behalf, and I'm sure we'll be getting a thank you for them as well. So thank you, everyone. And if anybody missed the donations for the... Um, for the flowers for um, Christmas Mass, we have the form in the back. We can see Jane, she'll have them, and she has an envelope, so she can, she can help you out. George, and about the prison ministry, about bringing cakes for, on Christmas Day? Yes, friends. If you would, uh, if you could, uh, it just has to be store-bought, if you would bring. Um, uh, the men particularly like, I, I, find, I can't find them all, but they particularly like the last cakes. So, uh, so, um, Times whole paycheck, so uh, <laughs> uh, you can. That's fine, but whatever, like anything, any any galletas uh, or dulces, uh, they, they really love that. They really, they really do enjoy that. Um, probably in January, St. Francis will be partnering with Bloomfield College uh, and Sacred Heart uh, American National Catholic Church, uh, and with Father Carroll, we'll be forming a pastoral team that will go to the jail on Sundays. And so, so we'll talk about what that involves. We'll talk about you leading uh, uh, Liturgy of the Word with the, with the, or the pods, and then we celebrate Mass actually in Spanish in the dormitories. So uh, Bloomfield College is interested in participating with that. And so we'll, we'll meet, I'll, I'll schedule a meeting, and then we'll talk about that. I'll ask Dr. Washington to come and give us an orientation as to what that means. The only thing is you can't take anything into the jail with you. You're not permitted to take uh, money or, or anything like that. But you have to take some form of ID. So we'll talk about that after Christmas, though. I, too, want to join Kathy in thanking you once again for your generosity. It is astounding to me uh, uh, how you respond to the needs of uh, the people in this community. So thank you so very, very much for that. I want to thank all of the parish, each and every one of you, whether you come every week or you don't. It is remarkable to be with you uh, to celebrate these great feasts, which say something about uh, the quality of our life and relationship to God. So thank you all so very much for that. When I am away from you, you don't know how I brag about you. So, uh, <laughs> but I want you to know because of you, uh, and because of your faithfulness and because of your, your response to God's call and, and to find a home here, we now are beginning a parish in Lewisburg. We have a parish in Harrison. We have the clergy who have found their way uh, back uh, to, uh, to a, a vibrant ministry as a result of your presence here. So just so you know, the flowers uh, that you have donated in honor of your loved ones will be the intention for my Mass uh, uh, here at the parish at midnight. And then on Christmas Day, it will, will be the intentions of all of you for the parish. So I want you to know that. Um, I am deeply, uh, deeply moved by, uh, by my association and my ability to, to worship in the midst of this phenomenal community. So thank you all so very, very much. Your, your, the greatest gift for me, uh, I think, every year at Christmas is my ability to be here with you. And, uh, and it is an astounding gift to me. It is an astounding gift to me. Uh, I recognize that this crozier that I'm holding was made for me in Cameroon, and it's very precious to me, so I rarely bring it out. So, uh, so I think that there is a, a, a feeling in me that, uh, that I want to share my gifts with you as I have them as well. So, absolutely. So, so. Bow down for the best. Wednesday. Next Saturday. Next Saturday at St. Clair's, uh, there's a, a, a post-Christmas party, so so maybe we can decompress there, right? So that would be nice. That would be nice. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. Let us all go forth, joining together and singing number two ninety-six on Jordan's bank. That's number 296. On Jordan's bank, the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is not awake and hearken for.
Yeah. <laughs>